Picatinny Arsenal in Morris County is where 90% of the American military's lethal weapons are designed. The Center for Excellence in Lethality, the commanding general called it. Senator Bob Menendez and Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill visited today to announce a major expansion project here. Here are some of the brightest minds in armament technology, munitions, chemical and mechanical engineering, all come together to help our military be on the cutting edge of lethality and precision. Simply put, Picatinny is the brain power behind our nation's firepower. What's going up is a new technology center for bomb disassembly. Improvised explosive devices are still costing American lives overseas. It's a $41 million project. Menendez said the congressional delegation speeded up the contract to get it signed four days before a Trump deadline would have siphoned off the money for a border wall. Earlier this year, President Trump issued an emergency declaration that proposed rating the funding of U.S. military construction projects to build a border wall that he promised Mexico was going to pay for. When I saw Picatinny's new munitions disassembly complex, along with other installations in New Jersey listed as potential targets, I thought to myself, not on my watch. 6,500 people work at Picatinny. It's the largest employer in Morris County. After the announcement, Menendez was asked about the fighting in northern Syria that has alarmed many Americans. I think it is a uh, one of the worst decisions in terms of national security and national interest that has taken place. Uh, I think you cannot abandon your allies uh, because you send a global message. Uh, when the United States is done with you, they will leave you to die on the battlefield. Congresswoman Cheryl sees a grim picture. We have further Russian influence coming in. We are going to have, we're going to see further Iranian influence. These are both uh, countries that uh, are against our interest in that region, um, simply because the president made a very poor decision and is refusing to reverse that decision. Retreating American forces appear to be caught between the Turkish army and the Syrian army helping the Kurds. Menendez said Secretary of Defense Mark Esper made light of their dilemma. You know, I was very upset when I heard Secretary Esper say, well, we're caught between two conflicting uh, uh, forces. Well, we're caught there because the president opened the door and allowed Turkey to come through. We weren't in that position before. Senator Menendez says he's going to call for immediate hearings on the Syria crisis, and if Republicans in the Senate balk, Democrats will just hold their own informal hearings. At Picatinny Arsenal, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News. Thank you.